this is a continuation of my previous video where I showed how a two drum retort could um, be sort of built up using a, a J um, type sort of rocket stove. It's called a J type rocket stove because you've got the flue which is the upright of the J and then you've got this burn chamber coming off at an angle as well so it looks like a, a letter J. Um, so that was uh, this kind of design using a sort of square, almost like an oven, with the 150 millimeter steel box section going down through there. But I've just been playing around with different configurations. Uh, so I've got this one here, which is the one at the top here. And I'm just using, I think it's seven bricks around, and that's enough to make a circle around the 60 gallon drum, the outside drum. And again, I've got a, one single brick missing from each course, and I've, the alternating courses I've just got half bricks at the end. And then for the top, like I've done with this one, you'd have a, a continuous course, and then some kind of metal bar, steel bar, or piece of angle under each side just to support that, that, that top layer, which is just a full brick there. Um, so that's scaled for a 60 gallon drum and then I think this is eight well possibly nine bricks one two three just and that would be sufficient for a, a full size 200 litre or 45 55 gallon drum you've got the two sizes because the US um, gallons are different from imperial gallons so in the UK they're, they're 45 gallons in the US they're 55s which is slightly confusing but they're around about 200 litres in size. Um, full size oil drums come in different um, configurations, some slightly taller, but they're all just under, I think they're about 580 millimetres diameter. So this is scaled for around about 600, so you've got a little bit of um, wiggle room when you put, put the drum inside there. The slight difference between these ones is I was thinking more of um, on this one, you've got the burn chamber down here and then this is raised up slightly and I, I was thinking of dropping that down so if I was building up rather than square I have built these block work bases same sort of concept but just circular then with the same opening you can sort of continue the brickwork around the outside and then when you're using this the drum the drum itself can ju actually just um, drop down inside You'll, you'll burn it, so you'll, you'll put the feedstock through here, the same as the other setup. But the idea is um, when you finish the burn, you can lift this sleeve out, and then this inner drum will sit a lot further down in the uh, chamber, so it'll be like a. So if you imagine on here, previously it was up here, but you could actually slide it down into that that chamber so it'd be I think it'd be a little bit more efficient that way and you get more more heat around there so that's the the idea for now um, I think it worked quite well there's a, a, another thing I was considering as well I've got a kind of washing machine drum I was cutting the inner and outer of it which would make a sleeve that would fit round the this 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 drum and then you can actually build up soil around it there's another level of insulation um, while still remaining keeping that shape so you're not burying that drum so you can take that in and out and this would be below ground level for a bit more sort of insulation but I think having it set in the ground the actual exposed part would be quite small and I think that would make it much more efficient so with these sort of things you're you're, you're burning wood to make charcoal if you can burn less wood and produce more charcoal then that seems to be more effective and obviously if you've got more insulation around here it's going to be charring that timber faster so you're not spending quite so long kind of just building the fire just for the sake of heating up the surrounding here as well but I, I quite like this concept here because it uses just it uses less bricks and making it square and it's also adding thermal rent mass around that, that drum as well um, if you're using less bricks then it's, it's less materials to transport to kind of um, acquire the materials in the first place.
also with with this chamber being square I think as, as the, the, the sort of gases are, and the, the fires burning around there it, by having that circular it, it seems to be a little bit more efficient because there's more of a sort of flow through into the the outer drum so I, I think that would be a little bit more efficient as well and also with with this kind of setup I think it's quite it's probably worth building up a ramp to sort of shape shape that chamber a little bit there so then there's a natural sort of flow flow of gases around here with this one as well it, it I'm not sure if it would be effective but as this drum here the inner drum could sit down into this this kind of kiln a little bit deeper down that would give a bit more head room around the top of the barrel around the top of the outer barrel so I think the flow might be a little bit more efficient what I was thinking as well is if I can kind of fabricate a cone or, or source a cone it's easier to kind of fit that into the drum just to kind of line it as opposed to making a whole lid which needs to be a bit more gas tight so I think I keep a six millimeter mild steel plate for the lid which you can weigh down with blocks to keep it nice and sort of gas tight but make a thinner maybe stainless steel cone that would fit inside I think that would be really quite efficient then and then the the kind of J type stove itself would be the same kind of um, 150mm 6 inch square box section mild steel and I've shown that on there because it's uh, just for clarity really and obviously this one here some of those bricks would be taken out and these would be replaced by half bricks to give you the opening but I think that this kind of size drum is quite, quite effective I think if it's if it's bigger, it's possibly more hit or miss to determine how much of that wooden inside is charred. But I think with this one, with the insulation, I think that would be, be quite good. But the idea is that if I can sink this down, this is 600 mil. If I can sink it down 300, then you've got loads of insulation from the ground around it, and then that's radiating out heat with the the, the brickwork and then the top bit will only need a little bit of insulation so it's worth just getting some steel sheet and, uh, and kind of lagging that. Well, just a, a short video just a, a bit more thinking out loud really and it's quite nice sometimes to put these ideas down in a drawing or on paper and put them online just to get some feedback and um, see what the kind of verdict is if anyone's got their own input as well. Okay, once again, thanks, thanks for your time and uh, I hope this video has been useful.